So let's suppose we are given the following molecule, a mono-substituted benzene, and we want to react it with an electrophile. And the question that we want to answer is, what will be the product that will predominate? Will it be the ortho para or will it be the meta? So to answer this question, we're basically going to have to examine the intermediate molecule that is involved in this reaction. So let's begin by supposing the pathway that is taken is via the ortho para. And let's use the ortho as the example. The para will basically be an almost identical case. So we only really have to consider either the ortho or the para and not both. So let's redraw our molecule. That's a horrible line. Okay, so we have our benzene molecule. We have our pi bonds. And we have our molecule that is attached. So it basically looks something like this. Okay, and so we have our electrophile that has a positive charge. So it basically has an open orbital. So basically this electrophile, the Lewis acid, reacts with this nucleophile, our Lewis base. And so we have, because we're assuming that it goes on to the ortho position, the ortho position is the second carbon position. So basically this bond reacts with this, grabs this, and places it on this position. So let's redraw our resonant stabilized intermediate. So let's begin with the first one. So we have our E, the electrophile will be here. This will be our group. We'll have a pi bond here, we'll have a pi bond here, and this carbon here will have a positive charge. So the next resonance stabilized structure is basically this pi bond jumping onto here, delocalizing that positive charge and placing it onto this carbon here. So let's redraw the second resonance stabilized structure. So it goes, goes onto here. Okay, and so the positive charge basically ends up on the fifth carbon, which is this one right here. Okay, um, do we have more? Well, yes we do. Basically, this pi bond now jumps onto this. The charge is delocalized onto this tertiary carbon here. So we have here, here, we have, um, not here, we have here. Okay, and so our positive charge will end up on this carbon here. So let's draw our positive charge on this tertiary carbon. Okay. And that basically concludes our resonance structures. We don't have any more because this cannot form any pi bond here. Now, let's move on to uh, the second type of pathway. So this is basically our ortho. So this is ortho step or ortho mechanism. So ortho simply means it's this one. Now the para will basically produce the same three resonance stabilized structures, but the para will have the electrophile on this fourth carbon. But because it's exactly the same, we're not going to bother with drawing our para. But of course you can practice on your own and see if you get the same thing. So. Now let's suppose we have this mono-substituted benzene now reacts via not the ortho para but via the meta. And let's see what happens when it reacts via the meta. So we have our electrophile reacting and this is the meta. Okay, so 
we have a positive charge here and basically the same story except now this pi bond basically forms a sigma bond between this carbon, the third carbon, and our electrophile. So the question is, what will be the difference between this intermediate and this intermediate here? Which one will be more stable and why? So we have the bond that is formed here. So we have this one here, this one here, we have this group here. Okay, now the positive charge will be on this carbon here. And so to delocalize that charge, we can basically take this pi bond and it forms a pi bond here. So we have a positive charge that appears on this fifth, uh, sixth carbon actually. So we have the second structure. This goes here, this stays here. This is our electrophile group that is substituted for the hydrogen. hydrogen. Okay, um, we have a positive charge that appears on this carbon here. And finally, the third and final structure is uh, the second pi bond. This pi bond can basically go onto here, forming a bond here. So the uh, charge is delocalized onto the fourth position carbon. Now the question that we should be thinking about now is which one of these resonance structures is the more stable one and why? Basically the one that is more stable will be the one that will produce the product that will predominate. So from the look of it here we have the same number of resonance structures. So we have three resonance structures for the meta case and three resonance structures for the ortho case. So the question is, where is our dissimilarity? So how does this actually differ from this? Well, notice in this case, the positive charge never actually ends up on this tertiary carbon, but the positive charge here does end up on the tertiary carbon. So you might think to yourself, well, a tertiary carbocation is more stable than a secondary carbocation. And so, because this contains two secondary carbocations and one tertiary, and this contains uh, three tertiary carbocations, this will be the more stable intermediate. Now, normally that is true, but in this case, there's one subtle detail that we have to take into consideration, and that has to do with this group here. So notice that this carbon is attached to the electronegative oxygen. And this carbon will actually have a partial positive charge. So we'll have a partial positive charge on this carbon and a partial negative charge on this oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. And so even though this positive charge is on the more stable tertiary carbocation, this full positive charge is right next to this partial positive charge. And that will be a very destabilizing effect because whenever we place two charges, two like charges, in this case two positive charges, right next to one another, we increase the electrostatic repulsion. And so the ortho para intermediate carbocation that is resonance stabilized will be less stable and higher in energy due to this electrostatic repulsion than the matter intermediate. And in fact, in this particular reaction, it's the meta product that will predominate over the ortho para product. Now, one more way to visualize this is by drawing a resonance stabilized for this section here. So notice that our carbon, uh, one other way to draw a resonance stabilized structure for this is basically like so. So we can move our two electrons onto that oxygen and so we form a complete negative charge a full negative charge on the oxygen and a full positive charge on that carbon. And we can see how this will be a very destabilizing effect. We have 
a charge on this carbon here, a charge on this carbon here, and that will be very destabilizing. But the charge here never actually ends up on that tertiary carbon. And so in this case, the partial positive charge that exists on these carbons is basically as far away from the actual charge as possible. But in this case, we have a slightly different case. They're relatively close to one another, and so that will create uh, a lot of electrostatic repulsion.